Hey guys, welcome back. If you are new to my channel, my name is Ricky. In today's video, I have a haul that I would love to share with you guys. This includes an online purchase that I will be unboxing with you and also some in-store purchases that I would love to show you guys. All right, you guys, we're gonna start off with the online unboxing first. Our first item, I actually redeemed a reward for this. I thought it was really cute. Um, this is the little three wick candle holder. This is priced at $14.95. And I just thought it was really cute for Valentine's Day. And honestly, like for the rest of February, probably up till March, I'll be using this because why not? I mean, I'm not just going to put it away just because Valentine's is over. So I think it's really cute. It has different shades of pink, different sizes, also some red hearts. It is a matte finish, and it's really pretty. A little something, you know, a little different. So I went ahead and picked this up as a free reward. And our next item is Whipped Berry Meringue in the Fine Fragrance Mist. I also used a reward for this Fine Fragrance Mist. Do a little sniff test. Very sweet, very berry. Kind of similar to Boardwalk Taffy and Pink Berry Clouds. but more berry and yeah more berry it's definitely uh creamy like whipped so fragrance notes are fresh berries whipped sugar fluffy vanilla it almost smells like marshmallows whipped cream marshmallow and like berries so it's a really really nice scent and the packaging is also very cute. Very, very cute. I love, love the purple. Purple is one of my favorite colors. So I'm actually very pleased with the scent of this spray. Very spring and summer vibes. Sugary, sweet, and perfect. So I'm very happy about this scent. I was kind of iffy about it at first, but I actually like it. So that is Whipped Berry Meringue and the Fine Fragrance Mist. Next up, I also redeemed another reward for this item. This is Peach Prosecco Macaron. Don't have the scent notes for it because it is a single wick. But you do get that little cookie scent of a macaron. Peach. Almost bubbly in a sense as well. But mostly a cookie scent. This is the wax on it. Very pretty orange light pastel color. This whole um, brunch collection reminds me of like Marie Antoinette when she had like all her little cakes and like um, macarons and it just gives me those types of vibes as well. Like even like the wallpaper style of print that they used on these um on the packaging of these, this looks like a wallpaper, like literally very Marie Antoinette. Like I could like have dessert and like light up this candle and it will be perfect. I actually have some macarons in my fridge right now. So I'm very happy as well with this scent. It's very, very pretty. So Another great reward used on a really great product. So that is Peach Prosecco Macron. Next, I 
purchased a candle. I've been like craving springtime and you know summertime so I went ahead and picked up cranberry peach I love this packaging I think it's so cute the flannel it's very very cute I love the nude peach pink color and this top is so pretty very very cute the fragrance notes on this is Sweet Peaches, Tart Cranberry, Sugared Musk with Natural Essential Oils. Uh, it smells so good. It kind of gives me that Mango Waters vibe, um, kind of like a Starburst type of candy-like scent. If there was like a peach Starburst, this is what it would smell like. I can almost taste the scent in my mouth. That's how like good it is. It smells so, so, so good. You get that cranberry, you get that peach. Very beautiful scent combo. They did a really, really good job with this candle. It's kind of loose there, um, but we have been experiencing very cold, a very cold winter this year so it's expected but yeah i cannot wait to burn this you guys cannot cannot wait to burn this i think this will be my next burn honestly um it's just it's so good so i picked up cranberry peach all right and here we have another three-way candle This is Pineapple Passion Fruit. This is a cute little packaging. Um, the candle looks like it's been through some things, but <laughs> it's all right. Um, a fragrance notes on this is Sweet Pineapple Ripe Passion Fruit Tart Cranberries with Natural Essential Oils. I love the scent of cranberries in a candle. Oh, smells so good you guys it has a little light yellow wax there oh, it smells so so good you get that pineapple you get that passion fruit mostly pineapple like sweet sweet pineapple juice and that cranberry it's like an undertone of cranberry. So it's tart, it's sweet, it's juicy. Oh, it's so good, you guys. Almost like fizzy, almost just a little bit. But I think that's where the cranberry and the pineapple kind of clash in a good way. Yeah, it just smells like... A sweet, sweet pineapple, like fresh cut pineapple with a side of cranberries and passion fruit. It's perfect. And this is just the regular little lid on top. These go for $24.50. Let me check how much this one goes for. $25.50. I'm assuming these go cheaper because they're just a front label sticker versus like all of this wrap around but nonetheless this is a really great candle i love the smell of it so i cannot wait to burn this Last candle we have is oh my god you guys I've been smelling this in store and I've been wanting it so badly. This is Bubbly Rosé. I don't know why, but um, last year I wasn't really into Bubbly Rosé as, as, as much as I am this year. I don't know if they changed something up, but it just smells really, really good. Fragrance notes are pink sparkling rosé, sweet blood orange, splash of cranberry juice with natural essential oils. And can we just admire the top and just the whole packaging on this? This is like the perfect Valentine's 
spring February candle like the top is like a mat and like this is like ridged and it's just so so cute I'm very happy that they decided to use this as their Valentine's candle it's a really beautiful scent even though I do miss candied hearts It smells so good, you guys. You get that blood orange. I actually had a blood orange this morning. One of my favorite, favorite fruits. Yeah, you get that just strong pungent punch of that sweet blood orange. It just smells phenomenal, you guys. I love, love, love sweet blood orange. Um, It's not so boozy. Um, from the rosé, but you do get that cranberry as well, which is really, really nice. It just adds that little touch of sweetness. Beautiful, beautiful candle. Cannot wait to burn this one, you guys. It's so cute, too. Like, I love the packaging. Let's put it on here. I feel like this candle is meant to be displayed, so I probably won't put it on, he on this um, holder, but look how cute the red mixes in with that, with those hearts. It's so, so cute. So this is a bubbly rosé, you guys. So excited for this candle. All right, you guys, now we're gonna go ahead and show you the in-store purchases that I did. So this does include some lovely candles. Our first one is Springtime in Paris. This lid is life. Like, I am obsessed with these lids. These are the ones that run for $29.50. The fragrance notes on this is Soft Peach Lotus Blossom Fresh Bergamot with Natural Essential Oils. Now, I did buy these on sale. I would not pay $30 for a candle. I just would not. Um, but I love the mint green on this springtime in Paris. The top is so cute. It smells like springtime. Like literally like spring. Like a meadow of like peaches and flowers. Peach trees and like a meadow of flowers it smells so good and that bergamot gives it like a clean cut finish to it cannot wait to burn this you guys it smells really really good when i seen this online i was like when i was reading the scent notes and stuff i was like this is probably something that i will not like but when i checked it out in store it just i just knew that i had to have it and it has like a regular white wax yeah it smells floral but not too floral that peach kind of neutralizes the floral note that it does have and that bergamot just makes it just right. So I cannot wait to burn springtime in Paris. It smells so, so good. Love the packaging on this. So that is springtime in Paris. Next, I had to get this one. I love the white, the iridescent top. This is just, this is Bay right here. This is Toasted Coconut Eclair. The fragrance notes on this candle is fresh baked donut, milk, chocolate, frosting, toasted coconut flakes with natural essential oils. When I smelled this in store, I like almost fell back. It has a regular white wax. It smells like a toasted inside of an almond joy. It has that donut element to it as well. So it smells like donuts, freshly baked glazed donuts with like almond joy inside 
or even like on the side, like a platter of Almond Joys cut open with a side of like glazed donuts. And you do obviously get that chocolate note as well. That's why I keep referring to it as an Almond Joy. It just smells so, so good. And Almond Joys are one of my favorite, favorite chocolate candy bars. I love the packaging. Like, And i seen this in the cloche that they have. Kind of similar to this right here. And it looks so pretty, even though I know you can't use it, like, when when it's burning. I'm, obviously, you can't have it closed, but it looks top tier. Like, it's so, so, so pretty. But this candle smells delicious, you guys. It's just something that you just want to keep smelling over and over and over again. And I've been reading a lot of great reviews on this candle, so I'm so excited to be burning this. And I'm very happy that I found it in store. So that is Toasted Coconut Eclair. I picked up a bunch of Wallflower plugins. This is Springtime in Paris. The scent notes on this is Soft peach, lotus blossom, fresh bergamot. Obviously, you know, to match the candle. So I had to do it. I was like, this smells so good. So I had to get the wallflower plug-in. I also picked up rose water and ivy. I'm not really a rose person, but when it comes to this scent, all of a sudden, I become a rose person. This is Soft Rose Petals Rain Kissed Ivy Spring Musk. So this does smell like rose water and the green of the ivy. It just makes it really, really nice. Um, it's not super overpowering because it is scented of rose water. So you, it does smell like rose water. Like, exactly like rose water. Rose water doesn't smell super rosy. So I think that's why I like it a lot. It's not super rosy. It's just right. So I went ahead and picked up rose water ivy. Next, I picked up dark amber and ode. Or oud. I still don't know how to say that word. This is dark golden amber, fresh rainwater, oud wood. Very woody and very... um sweet dark sweet the amber and the oat it just creates a very very beautiful scent um i really want to get it in the three wick um yeah i just need to get it um it's it's really really good so i picked up dark amber and oat in the meantime next refill i picked up white t-shirt i was very excited that they had white t-shirt out this is crisp pear lavender cloud soft sandalwood. It just smells like a pretty fruit based laundry scent. It smells really, really crisp and like it's it's so perfect. It smells like a sun drenched t shirt, freshly washed t shirt. Um, it smells really, really good. So super happy that I found white t-shirt in the refill. And I also picked up Palo Santo. So happy that they had this. This is the um, enhanced fragrance. I always resort to enhanced fragrances because they obviously work better. Fragrance notes are Palo Santo wood, warm amber, soft musk, so good you guys um a lady next to me she was shopping and she sprayed the room spray in palo santo and i was like my god what is that scent you know and she was like oh you know it's palo santo and i was like oh good thing i got it in the wallflower it's more potent in the room spray but obviously compared to a wallflower 
you need to like actually burn it, not burn it, I mean like warm it up with the Wallflower plugin. So I am so excited to have this scent. Um, it's just so good. It has that, um, I don't know, like once you spray it and like once it's like spreading around in the room, it just gives off a really, really, really nice scent. And I already know what my next concentrated room spray is going to be. It's definitely going to be Palo Santo. It smells so good. So these are the refills that I got. All right, you guys. I also went ahead and picked up some pocket bags. This is rose water and ivy. How to get it in the pocket bag. It smells really good. I also picked up gingham love. Another great scent that they came out with. Very happy about that. I got bubbly rosé in the pocket bag. Had to. And they also had some white t-shirt in the pocket bags. So you know I had to get a couple of those. So I went ahead and got these pocket bags. I was like, I need these, period. So I picked these up. All right, on to our next bag. These are more candles that I picked up. This is Sunshine and Daffodils. I kind of took a chance with this. I've never smelt it. I actually did a buy online pick up and store order for this. And the scent notes are sunny daffodils, bright citrus, luscious greens with natural essential oils. And to my surprise, it smells so, so good. Just a regular white wax. And it just smells so fresh and clean. And it smells floral, but not overpowering. It just smells really sweet and um, really, really good, you guys. Um, that citrus note, I feel like it's mostly like a lemon type of note to it. And I think that's what kind of makes it not be super floral. It's like a citrus floral and I do not mind that. Kind of reminds me of like herbal essence. In a way, it just smells really fruity and very, and um, a little bit herbally due to the luscious green and obviously the floral scent that it does have in there. But it smells really, really good. I feel like this is an all year type of scent. And I'm very happy that I went ahead and picked it up without actually smelling it. I, I, honestly, I've never smelled this candle. And um, it just smells really good. So I'm very happy that I picked it up. It smells really good. I might back this one up. That's how much I like it. So I think I'll definitely be backing Sunshine and Daffodils up. And I already know I'm going to be backing up Bubbly Rosé, Cranberry Peach, and Pineapple Passion Fruit for sure. Those are like backups for sure. Those are on my list. So... This is Sunshine and Daffodils. Here we have another candle. I've been really, really wanting Wildberry Jam Donut. I love the purple on this and the little sticker. I love that little moment right there. So the fragrance notes on this is sweet wildberry jam, powdered donut, brown sugar crumble with natural essential oils. Regular white wax. I kind of wish that they did like a purple wax. I feel like that would be really, really cool. But it just smells like a jelly filled donut. It really reminds me of raspberry jam donut. It smells almost identical yeah it smells identical to raspberry jam donut but it's a really sweet berry jam 
jelly type of scent and very heavily on the donut. That powdered sugar, it's very sweet. It's very, it's just giving. It is giving. It's so, so, so good. So I am super excited to have this and I am even more ecstatic to be burning this soon. This one is definitely gonna be burning in my room. Um, I don't really burn three wigs. They have to be really special to be burning in my room um, if it's a three wig. So I, usually because I don't like a super overpowering candle in my room, but this I feel like I will not mind at all. Yeah, this could blow me out my room if it wants to. I love this scent. It smells really, really good. So that is Wildberry Jam Donut. All right, you guys, on to our next bag. These are some last 75% off items that I decided to pick up. This is Frosted Coconut Snowball. The fragrance notes on this is Frosted Coconut North Pole Vanilla, Winter Freesia, Snow-Kissed Woods, Sponge Sugar. This just smells very, very nice. Sugary coconut, love coconut. It smells really, really good. And for 75% off, you cannot beat that price. So I was like, why not? I was like, I'll go ahead and get me this spray. And I also picked this up for 75% off. This is chamomile and bergamot. This is in aromatherapy sleep. Love, love this scent a lot. Chamomile oil, bergamot oil. I actually have the essential oil mist in this. Also the body cream. This is what I love to use before bedtime. I do already have a shower gel, so this is just a backup. So I'm very happy that I got this as well for 75% off. Like I said, you cannot beat that price. And especially for something that you love I could not pass this up, so I picked up chamomile and bergamot in the shower gel. On to our last bag. These are more 75% off items. I got really lucky and I found this Merry Cookie Single Wick for 75% off. If you guys have seen my other videos of me reviewing Mary Cookie, it's something that I really, really like. This is just a regular off-white wax. And in that review, I stated that it smells a lot like strawberry pound cake without the strawberry. It's like a cookie cakey type of scent. So I am very, very excited to be burning this glad i got a backup of it because the single wig that i already do have is the only one that i have i'm hoping that this does have a strong throw because my other one is a different packaging th than this one so um i'm hoping it throws well just like the one i have so this is mary cookie for 75 percent off all right and the last item for this haul, another 75% off candle that I found. This is Ocean Driftwood, and this is Beachside Oak Sea Washed Mahogany Ocean Lavender with Natural Essential Oils. This has been the second Ocean Driftwood that I find for 75% off. It just, it's very woody. Cologne and very beautiful. Cannot wait to burn this. Super, super stoked that I found this for 75% off. Aquatic, woody, everything that I love in a candle. So this is really, really 
a really, really good find. So I'm very happy that I picked up Ocean Driftwood. And that is it for this haul, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know down below what you guys have been recently been picking up. If you guys are excited for new items to be coming out, what are you guys most anticipating? Let me know. I do have more hauls coming for you guys, so be sure to watch out for those. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye, guys.